So here we are, another video for the ZX Touch. This is an unexpected video to be doing because it was a request to do. And this is a request to actually create, how do you create the um, background images, the info images and everything else like that you have when you wanna add your own games to the dashboard. Well, there will be a URL that will be in the video description below where you can download the files that I've actually used here. But enough of this, I'm actually gonna take you on a journey on how to do this. And the game we're gonna pick is gonna be Booty. So let us look at what we've got on the screen here. We have got Photoshop loaded on the screen here. Um, the two files that I will have in the video description below will be blank files for you to use if you choose. In fact, what we'll do is I'll save the work I've done on Booty so just so you can actually see on those. But no, very, very easy to do. Really, really easy to do. So first of all, you need a web browser loaded in as well. So we've gone to two sites. We've gone to Spectrum Computing that you can see here, and we've done a search for the game called Booty. And we've basically got a search on the internet where we look for a Firebird logo that we could use for the info card as well here. This will all be explained a little bit further on. So first thing we need to do is we need to basically have a cassette image because you want a cassette image that's gonna be on the dashboard of the ZX Touch if you choose to build and add that game. So we're gonna scroll down here on uh, ZX Computing and go all the way down and they have cassette images here. So we're doing the original booty game. We're gonna right click on there and we are gonna do, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Open link in new window. So it pops up in a new window here. We're gonna right click on here and we're gonna copy that image. And we are then simply gonna close down that window. We're gonna go to Photoshop here and this is the blank PSD file that I've got for the first canvas that you need for the, for the tape image here. And we're gonna do Control V to paste it in and then we're gonna click on this icon here, which is the move icon, drag it across so we can see it a little bit more. We then hit Control T because we want to resize it. And up here, you've got the resizing bars that you see. We're gonna click on the little link button, which means it resizes the height and the width at the same time. And we're gonna change this to maybe 40 or something like that. And then we're gonna click on that tick. Uh, that number doesn't really matter. It's just so we can see it all on the screen. And then essentially what you do, you drag it so the bottom left, sorry, the bottom right hand corner goes to the bottom right hand corner here. You do Control T, and then we are on the resize thing again. We need to scroll up just a little bit here. Can we scroll up? No, let's move it down and let's change that size a little bit smaller. But yeah, so here you go. You put it down there and then you drag it all the way across from this side here. And you basically have the front of the tape cover there on the width and then on the top. You drag it up, and there you go. You click on the tick button there, and there is our booty cassette cover that has been saved. What we can do here is we can double click on the layer there, and we can call it booty, which is what we're gonna do. And then we basically uh, click elsewhere, and then we click file, save. Now, we want to save this out so we can use it on the ZX Touch, and this is a file that goes onto the um, SD card that we want, and this is basically the tape image here. So if we do File, Save As, and we basically go all the way here, and we're gonna pick a JPEG file. Boom, there you go. We're on the desktop. Now, the most important thing here is that these need to be saved as JPEG files, and it's abbreviated by T underscore. So we're gonna call it booty here. And this bit here, where you have the word booty, this has to be the actual name of the game, the name of the game or file that you've actually got on your system. So if you have a look here, you can see T underscore automator 1985 microgen software. That is the name of the file that's loading in on my ZX Touch that we have. And this is booty that we're gonna be loading in there. The T underscore names and the I underscore names must match the file name of the game that you're looking to load and they've got to be put in the same directory i put all mine in the root directory when i create the ztg files but yeah all of it goes in the root directory essentially and we save as t booty so there we go save that and here we are ensure that baseline ensure that baseline here is selected and you say okay and that has saved the cassette bang that is done now the next one isn't complicated, it just takes a little bit of time to do. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna to go to, let's say, window here, and we're gonna to change to Firebird. Now, 
this is the one where you have the info screen to make it look even more spicy and more beautiful so what we've got here is i've created all these folders on the left hand side um for you know different areas different things that you need to do so the game name it flashes on and off when i click that we're going to double click on that and we're going to change that to booty we're going to do shift and push the up arrow and that highlights it all and then right at the top here we're going to click on that and we're going to change the color and i want it to be i want it to be light blue no that's not light blue here we go light blue there so okay to that and then what we do is this screen border here goes around the screenshot i like these to match the color of the name so if i double click on here and then i go to color overlay that we've got here and with color overlay selected i click on here and i basically have the dropper icon that appears when you drag it out of this box and i just basically click on booty and the color is the same and watch that border now um, become the same color as what we've got here other info you can toggle that on and off so for instance i've done the hobbit game here and it's a 128k version of this so in other info i simply changed my version of the hobbit to 128k mod and clicked on the tick there at the top so it saves it that just tells me that that's a modded version of there we don't need to do that so we'll would just leave that as other info and i'm going to toggle that off so these eyes here on the right hand side of the panel toggle things on and off depending whether you want them to view or not so first thing we need to do is we need to put a picture here so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our web browser and we are going to go um let's see we're going to pick one of these pictures what picture shall we have in fact we could take this one we're going to right click on that and we're going to do copy image we are then going to go back to uh, this screen here and we're going to do Control v when we're in the right area so we need to go to the screen here you click on screen here this is where we put the screen and this is all layered so you have to do as less work as possible Control v and the screen is rather large hit Control t and we can drag it very carefully um, to fit the screen here we click on this link here to make everything the same size and theoretically and by size that's width and dimension and there you go that's present where we want it here we click on the little tick up here to accept the changes and there is our screen so we have done the first part of the work that we need to do the next thing we do is we go back to um, spectrum computing here and we can see firebird software limited 1984 so what i'm going to do here is then go back to here and we know this game came out in 1984 so here i take that away and firebird software 1984 that looks rather nice doesn't it but yeah we want this to look nice we want this to look as professional as it can so with that now there saved that's in a good place now we need a logo so we need the firebird logo we go back to the web browser that we've got here and we go to firebird software i did a search on the internet and i needed a black logo because we have the black background here and we basically right click on that copy image go back to um, our photoshop and basically what i do i make sure copyright is highlighted then i do Control v and it pastes that logo above it now sometimes you get a bit of background and stuff like that you don't particularly want here using this key here to move it we move it into a free space so we can see the whole logo we then click on the magic wand and if you click on here and i'm using tolerance of 20 um, it might vary depending on what you need but by clicking on tolerance of 20 it highlights all the outside stuff that we don't need and or we've got a little bit left here so if we click on the square hold the shift key down and see that little circle there drag it over that and that disappears and then we can hit the delete key and boom the background is gone that's good enough for me for the moment so we do select um deselect so there's nothing highlighted there and then click on the arrow and then we do Control t and we drag it down to exactly where we want it and we are try and keep it matched up so the edge of the box is on the uh, C that you see here we click on this link icon we've used before which keeps the scale as it should be and we can drag it down as big or small as we want 
I'm then going to click on the tick to accept there and then I'm going to push the up arrow a little bit which is going to move that up here and what we then do is we now need to fill out the instructions for the game so here we've got game text this is the field that we use here all you do is you go back to spectrum computing and often 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 they will have uh, the text files of the game so here we go um, where is it where is it where is it instructions booty.txt so we will click on that and it will open up a new pane you know we, we just highlight all those instructions there Jim the cabin boy blah 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 and then we go back to here and we double click on the game text and we paste it in you know this one here actually has formatted quite well sometimes you've got to do a little bit of tidying up but that works so we tick on that and we're happy with that so we have now got booty the screenshot and basically everything we want there it looks rather marvelous it looks rather marvelous but one more thing to do is to do the top screen for the info panel and the top art is going to go in this folder down here so we click on here we go back to spectrum computing now you know the the loading screen you know doesn't look particularly great on this old version here but they did a new inlay here so that looks like we can use that so if we right click on here and we do um, open link in new tab this opens the image here um, I'm gonna do uh, right click copy image now I don't like this little silver bit here so we're gonna do a little bit of positioning to ensure that all this bit of logo here isn't there but hey that doesn't matter that is a my problem not a your problem we then go to Adobe Photoshop and here where it says top art you do control V and it pastes it in there so we can then drag that across and I don't mind a little bit of crop in here we do that um, move it where we want we then do control T and I reckon it's going to be 200% bigger so 200% and then we scroll down and there there we have our booty pilot with his sword there so you know that that matches quite well it's not central but the sword uh, angle finishes up here he finishes here and there we've got our info screen so then we do file um, save because I'm saving this PSD file that I will be putting on a link for you below we then do file um, save as and we need to save this as a JPEG file as well so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on here and we're going to scroll to JPEG and it's going to be the new version of booty that we did here so there we are we click on that for the t we're going to do c there and then we're going to do save actually it's not c is it no that's a mistake it's t for tape we're going to do t for tape and then we're going to do save there and hang on booty no hang on good lord i'm making mistakes all over no the t is for the tape for the cassettes that we did and this is i for info so we're doing i for info dear lord worst things happen at sea worst things happen when you're recording things like this sometimes so there we go save booty baseline is normal maximum 12 and we say okay to this and then effectively what we can do is this is all saved you know it, it's not gonna let me save it anymore file 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 save no that's good we can close that down we can close that down and here we have these two files here that will be uploaded for you to have these two files here I will upload for you to have as well so you can have and all these games all these games I can now put on my ZX touch I've been working on some of these in the background and they have a have a look see splat dot tape has sp I underscore splat dot JPEG T underscore splat dot JPG and you know everything ties up with the game name so uh, planetoids tape has the same JPEG file, has got the same JPEG file there. And I actually did do Booty. I did the black edition of Booty. Um, let's bring that up to show you what that looks like. So this is a remake of Booty by uh, Salvia Cantrano. I hope I haven't butchered your name, but it looks very, very good. I think you can get that if I recall by going on itch.io. Can't 100% remember where I got it from, but no, this has been how to create, how to create everything you need to do to do your own custom um, JPEG files for the cassettes which is the t underscore file name and the info screens which is the i underscore file name i hope this has been of use to you 
thank you for watching thank you for this request to do this actually a quick and easy video to do but no if it supports you and all of you are good enough to come along to the channel then it's my pleasure to do something like that see you in the next video goodbye